Howie, what do you make of the charges that the New York Times is being hypocritical because they refuse to produce or to print these emails re relating to uh, that undermined sort of the left's argument on climate change because they said to do so would be illegal because they were Ill illegally obtained, but they had no problem doing it to Trump. I'm less concerned about that because the Times did do a front page story about those emails, even though they didn't print the emails. I see the greater hypocrisy as being the New York Times company didn't pay any taxes in 2014. Well, there's for the a question same reason about Donald that. Trump didn't take a legitimate deduction. There's a question but, about know, that. Sometimes seems, reporters are pushing back on that tonight, but go ahead. Yeah, but it seems to me that, you know, you have a sheer volume of stuff being thrown at Donald Trump, some of it legitimate, some of it not, some of it self-inflicted wounds, and it's just complete imbalance with the scrutiny being given to Hillary Clinton. And then you also have the cultural aspect here, Megan. So it's not just news organizations, but it's celebrities, most of the late night comics, Kimmel, Samantha Bee, John Oliver, mm -hmm. Seth Meyers, Stephen Colbert, turning serious to adapt Donald Trump, uh, Jennifer Lawrence saying it'll be the end of the world if he wins the election. So there's an effort here, I think, and some of it's uh, legit, uh, um, intentional and some not to kind of paint him as being outside the bounds of acceptability. Well, and that that's the thing. I mean, guy, the the, all those people were always, I mean, John Stewart was never going to vote for Mitt Romney, right, back when he was doing the late right. night stuff. Uh, so it's not, that's not unusual to have the late night folks be against the Republican nominee. But what's unusual here is that there's a lot of fodder with respect to Trump. And in, in his defense, he has spent his lifetime not as a politician watching every word he says. I mean, there's a lot of fodder because he's a fodder producing machine you know he's just he's a, he's been, he's a, he's an unusual character and he's a dynamic character and a lot of that stuff on Howard Stern and so on was done with the intention of being a provocateur you can and call the, him a uh, tremendous a tremendous fodder factory in fact Megan uh, but yeah and some of it you have to separate and part of our job is to separate what's real and what's legitimate to talk about and what's silly season there was one thing making the rounds today I think Joe Biden attacked Donald Trump for supposedly demeaning veterans with PTSD and Trump did nothing of the sort they they you know re they latched onto one word and turned it into a fake controversy mm -hmm. so th it's kitchen sink time that's right. They're suggesting that Donald Trump took a shot at uh, veterans suffer suffering from PTSD. Everybody on our team looked at the tape. The, the, if you watch the, the soundbite in context, it, it doesn't appear at all that he's doing right. that at all. Exactly. In fact, he's, he means to be paying a compliment to the strength of those in the room in any event. Um, there's so much to talk about. We barely scratched the surface. Great to see you all.